Loney to the 18s. Does mark seven. All right, let's get the business end of this. Gets rid of the 19s. And look at this from Kelly Mears. Another Floridian. Another Floridian. Where it actually makes sense for the lady to go first because of the better player. So what you don't want to do in a parity draw, especially where it's top and bottom, is still give the opportunity to the teams that have the top. Well, here is the Dutch Dragon. And Jules. Boom goes the dynamite. He is. Back to the 18s. He's going to think that went over. No, he's just upset at his grip. He was upset at the rhythm that he had to break it because of the grip. Marks. Pressure push on Kelly. Goes to the 17s. Yeah, almost a dream start. Seven and then a five. But look at this from Kelly Mears. Comes alive. Boom goes the dynamite, Kelly Mears. And leg number three, it's a race two, three. First to five. Look at Philly. Back to back nines. Boom goes the dynamite for Philly. Starts on the 20s. Gets rid of that 17. And where's he going? Back up. Boom goes the dynamite. Leonard Gates. Cunningham <laughs> has turned into a champion commentator this weekend. <laughs> and just like that, there's the big six mark from John L. He won't laugh at his own jokes. He won't laugh at your jokes, even if they're really funny, I'm sure. I don't really have a good judge, but look at that. Boom goes the dynamite. Kaylee. Long name like that, but Lisa, no, hope you're she doing was, well. She was in the chat. Okay. Uh, hope you're doing well. We miss you here. Uh, she is. She's one of those players, one of those people, one of those human From Rick is, is perfect yep. for John L. Kaylee did miss, so she's got the clear look, and she takes it down. 17s. And there she goes. Now she can go 17s. There she goes. And there goes my hero. Struggling with the fact that, you know, he's partly retired now. He's taking time to do other things. Uh, he got hit with the real reality on Sunday morning by getting only 24 spot. And boom goes the dynamite for Ram Guevara. Of Easy hit start is. His start throws. Speaking of smooth, there's trip 17 on the first. And the second. How about all of them? Boom goes the dynamite. Rick Henzey. And you should be as well. <laughs> Back to the 15s goes Carolyn. She's marked it twice. How about a boom goes the dynamite for the Washingtonian. Board over on the other side of the room. So we'll give you updates when those come in. And boom goes the dynamite. Perfect start for Rick Henzey. And instead, she can just free range right there. And that's exactly what she's going to do. And that's exactly what she does. Seven mark from Caroline. That's Hard. why. And this is a true back and forth battle. We see when you get to these last chance games, these one and dones, especially in a draw like this, it sometimes forces you to bring out the best as Kenny Doyle loads up the 20s. And sometimes the nerves of the moment get to you, but not in that one right there. That's the sound of the police, by the way. It's the sound Whoop. of the police. Whoop. Like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nicole Kohlhoff lighting up downstairs finds a nine mark for herself. She said, guys, stop talking about the sirens. I'm going to make the own, my own beeps and alarms on the board. Or six mark, excuse me. There we go. Does recover it. And hits a nine mark three in the bed from Scuba Steve. And he even gives a little celebration. His guy's probably telling him just switch to the bowl or stay on a close. Uh, because he does not. That 15 is in a very bad so spot for him. Even with the experience of Kenny, he turns around and asks Kaylee just out of curiosity, what do you think? And look at him step over and nail it. What a wealth. There, and I was just a spectator for day one. Watched the pro singles event. Uh, the finals of that pro singles event. Danny Baggish, Jesse Gore. Jesse Gore ended up taking that title that year as well and won the Space Shuttle Trophy there at the Space Coast Tournament. Well, there's a big nine mark. And again, five doesn't feel like enough on the openings here. You want to get six or more to prevent a potential nine mark fire back. This is what oh, we're talking about. My goodness. <laughs> Jen Mounts That's uh, this weekend. She's been doing a great job with all the graphics. Not sh not Nick. No, no, not, no. Not, no. Once Nick's again, terrible. Once though. again, not Nick. Just Jen. As we get a big niner <laughs> for the 49er <laughs> from Nick and uh, so much more, uh, in including some drone footage and, and, and what have you. So, And what have you indeed. Another nine mark start from Danny Baggish coming in. There it is. Of course, Danny Baggish. So many big names, so many big matches. 
Oh, look at this from Jesse Gore. Clutch seven. The only opportunity he can afford to do right now is to just get as many bulls as possible. And if they happen to return with the point lead, then Leslie can get the swing. There's no swing that he can do here. Oh. Three in the black. That's set up for him. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Danny Baggish. Oh, this is early to say, but this might be a three to three early on. Well, considering it's three to three, do we go check it, take a look at this last legger? Uh, Come back to it? <laughs> three I, it's it's your dang if you do, dang if you don't. Is we get a nine? In this case, it would be five throws. Teresa, just chill out. We got it. We got it. We'll be hopping around all these different matches as much as possible. We just wanted to give a taste of oh, an important money match, nonetheless. Is oh, there an opportunity for Ram right here? Should take the look. Oh, beautiful stuff. Goes up top. Yes, sir. It's on last turn. Yeah, gets rid of that 17 first. And, yeah, this is Shine Richards, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Big darts. Just, the board don't lie until it does. Shine Richards leading with that triple. And she goes back up. I'm surprised because she's been pointing up every time. To trying to get us started here. There's some razzle. There's some dazzle. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> you don't want to talk to the gambler, really, because he's going to be super, uh, you know, cocky and confident. And triple dip. A magic Mike and the Blonde Swan are going to do everything they can to give you that triple dip. And this is the final. And we got runner, runner. Boom goes the dynamite from Mike Scarborough, the first of the final. See? Oh, only a seven from Baggish. Of course they do. They're going to move to a different segment, too, probably. They go back. Boom goes the dynamite again. He has started off <laughs> playing with Leslie Gardner, another great Houston, Texas player. And, of course, the gambler, Danny Baggish, former PDC professional. Walk on everything. I did make sure that everyone knew that Mike's shirt was designed to zip down fully for a reason. And boom goes the dynamite there for Danny Baggish. The gambler gets his first nine. He's staying now. I have no idea what this start doing. Yep. I would have stayed. He switched back over. He'll stay there. Mark, eight, or mark seven, excuse me. That is heavy. That is a heavy trophy. Um... I would have rather, I'm taking the table next time <laughs> over there. Danny Baggish. Boom Big goes the dynamite. Big nine mark on the 16s. He, here, here comes the gambler. Uh, this is a gambler type moment right here. It's a gambler moment right here. It's a gambler moment right here. He hits gambler. all of them. We got the first. Ties oh, it up. Tied game. Great darts from Scarborough. Cheyenne wants three. And he fills it up. Boom goes the dynamite. So now Leslie going to have to point. Looking at the 19s. Good first, or good second. Great third from There's Leslie Gardner. Three bullseyes. For the title. And he gets it done. The gambler is your champion with Leslie Gardner. They're both.